Bob, you're the in-house expert on it. Teaching by Bob. There's two. It's like science. Ladies and gentlemen, you just witnessed history. How about that? That is kind of... Here, Jaden, come here and handle this big hose. Speak into the microphone. Don't do it. <laughs> Brian's filming. Don't do it. <laughs> there's your there's my gas cap. Right there, and there's my damn filler. It's a pretty big filler. You really gotta be that big. That should be like quick fill NASCAR shit being this big, right? It won't be like filling the ice cream truck. There. To my gas cap that will be here in the window. It's even got a thing. It's Tom proof. It's Tom loses stuff once in a while so at least he can't lose our gas cap. So that's that. Now we gotta get the windows. Well, one thing like with driving out there for death week, determined because I spent a lot of time above. You I was were, always at the legal speed limit. You were in Mexico when you were doing it. Exactly. When we ran across the border wall and there was no speed limit, we spent a lot of time running in excess of normal speeds. I don't know. There was long stretches where you could do, to put it bluntly, there was long stretches where you could average 100 miles an hour for a few hundred miles. And like, so all I think about is making the gear ratio even better in here, which we've never done before. I mean, we run a 389 gear in virtually everything because it's the best of both worlds. It gives you good cruising speeds. So of 70 to 80 miles an hour, and uh, it gives you good stuff on the track. So I talked to Brandon and he can get a 3.0 rear gear for this, a street gear. He'll build us another center section with a 3.0 and then based on math calculations, 2000 RPM right now with the gear vendor overdrive, this would do inch tire. 35 inch tire. Oh, those are 35. Yeah, those are 35s. So this, so they're the, same size. the math calculation of 2,000 RPM, the overdrive, which gives you a 0.78, runs you at 66 miles an hour, roughly. Now, if we go to a 3.0 gear, that's now 86 miles an hour. So, what about the converter slippage? What time, at what point does your converter actually start to lock up? It's not a so lock up, but at a certain RPM, it's gonna start to not slip as much. And you kind of want to be above that RPM, so what RPM is Yeah, but with the Rosler Trans, too, I was thinking about that. And, like, we can tighten the converter the whole way with the dump valve. So, if we go to... This is an added bonus now, because now you have that. We wouldn't, didn't even talk about that. Yeah, we didn't talk about that, but... I mean, same as your car on Six Summer, when it was loose, like, you can't even go up a hill with it, yeah. because the converter was so loose. But the dial -a, the dial -a dump or the dial a converter. Dial a speed. Dial. Yeah, the dial a converter. <laughs> Need a couple, 10 more, 10 more miles per hour. Turn it up for right. us. So, two, two clicks but, is 10 more miles an hour. Um, so, and Bob, you're the in-house expert on it. So we will explain to the people so you know how those rear end ratios work because that is a thing of folklore on how it works, but it's actually pretty simple. Close. But 
what does the first number tell you versus S. the S? Well, oh, and here's the other thing too. Like when we just talk about it, Aiden says, well, 389, well, what's 389 versus 300 versus 411? There's a dot in there. So it's always a 270 or a 411 or a 389 or whatever that is. So the first number means what, Bob? How many rotations it will take the pinion to get around the ring gear. Or actually the whole That's thing. That's the whole number. You would yeah. tell me it's too different, but it's not. But it is. So like, if it's a 411, But it's always when you look at it stamped on there, it's going it is to 4. spin 4. four times before this makes a full rotation. Like if your axle, you, you mark your axle and just a vertical line on it, and now you know where your... Uh, yoke is sitting on the the pinion bracket on the center section now you can just say okay I'm starting here how many times four and now I'm almost back to the same spot and 11 would be obviously less than an eighth of a turn so you can get in the ballpark of saying okay I didn't go a quarter I gotta go less than a quarter of a turn and that's gonna get you in the ballpark but four is how many times the pinion will rotate to get you in one rotation of the axle and then the 89 or the 11 or whatever is that last little bit to make your full rotation i'm not cool a genius thing. but <laughs> here's the cool thing bob is actually going to demonstrate that for you on sax rear end oh, i gotta do it now so Yep. Oh, I gotta do it so again. Bob's gonna demonstrate okay. this to you. Yeah. Okay. It's recorded demonstration. So here was our mark where we talked it about this a, a few light minutes light. ago. <laughs> so if you say, here's my yoke, and I'm close to this bolt, so I'm gonna go, there's one. There's two. There would be three. And now we're going to go to, and then we'll say four is probably right there. And then we're just going to go back to that bolt. And I probably screwed it up a little bit, but you're right back to where it was. So, right, actually, right there is the the bolt so whatever you kind of get the gist it'll get you very close to figuring out your gear ratio if you can do that perfectly I didn't measure that or mark that perfectly kind of half-assed just to give you a ballpark idea how to work it it's like science science but that roughly teaches you or tells you how to figure out what you have and also to understand what those ratios are meaning because a lot of times it is confusing. Like why is a, and I don't know if you call it taller or shorter, but why is a 411 uh, is tall. a more amplified, like a, a taller, taller gear, gear set than short, a 30 or like a, a 270? Sh short gear ratio will give you nothing off the line but a shit ton of top speed tall gear is hard off the line and no top end so but that's the thing that tells you what those what those numbers are and how many turns it takes for a rotation of the drive shaft to a rotation of the rear end which i, I mean then the rear end you got to take the other and that's why tire size is important is because now you got to look at and say okay a shorter tire is going to turn faster like well with that being that now you can change the ratio or the speed by just going to the taller tire and see how that works so if you learn something from the sick university professor then go buy some merch and put a comment there that says hey i learned something so i'm paying for that education i bought a shirt a and bob shirt. will see none of the money so i don't no, 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 see bob. the money it keeps me a job so <laughs> that's how that shit so, works but Bob feels good, especially if you comment and say, thanks, Bob. But not just to thank that. you. <laughs> not just to thank thanks, you. Thanks, I already knew that. Well, if you already knew it, then I guess you don't have to buy a shirt. Right. Don't buy any merch. But right. if you learn something, then go buy the merch and say, oh, thanks for teaching me, Bob. Will there oh, be no. a discount code so, of 411? So 411. There you go. Uh, discount oh, code 
four eleven off your purchase. So four dollars and eleven cents off of your better purchase. Better nothing, isn't so, it? I think four dollars and eleven cents off, but Okay, whatever whatever off. they want. Four <laughs> four point eleven percent off your purchase. Four point eleven percent. So there you go. There'll be a B will figure out a discount code that works that if you use four eleven, that gets you some discount off something. There so, you go. Oh there you go. No no no. If you use four eleven then you get a free sticker. Do your purchase, put in 411, it gets you a bonus sticker. There you go. There you go. Right? Does that stuff work, B? We can make it work. <laughs> All right. The guy behind the camera has got to do the math. And this is on the fly. It's almost as bad as live because he's recording it and he can't re-record it. Right. So. Well, he'll figure it out. But there you go. Ratio teaching by Bob. You're welcome. <laughs> if you didn't already know. <laughs>